Oh, hey. Hi, everybody. I don't know how to tell if anyone's watching. Oh, okay, so that's how you tell someone's watching. Um, I want to make sure. All right, somebody's here. Not alone. Hi, whoever you are. Um, welcome to live chat. Remember to guard your privacy and abide by our community guidelines. I will certainly do that, YouTube. Thank you. Hey, hey, two people. I, I hope. Ah, there it is. Okay. Hi. Uh, I, I know Shy. <laughs> I I appreciate that you show up to all these things. Miami Sammy. Are you from Miami? Is that is that what that cuz I've seen your username a lot and I've just never known what it meant. Um and I I I this is the first time I think I'm really like sounding it out. Um Does that is that what it is? Miami Sammy. Hi people. Oh, no it's a nickname I did. Oh. Cute. Okay, that's that's still cool. Does he call you Miami Sammy, or he calls you? I'm assuming your name is Sam. Okay, I'm I'm talking. I, I, I this is something I really should work at. I think I'm I'm supposed to be talking at the camera, um, but I'm looking at the the chat and I'm talking to the chat as if that's the person because I'm reading it and I'm responding to it as I look at it. Um, but hi. Six. All right. See, boom. We're already higher than I've literally ever gotten on Twitch. By the way, I Twitch stream sometimes, guys. Um, but yeah, I, I decided that I wanted to make this just to see how it went. I don't know. I haven't done a, a live stream on YouTube, and I finally got a webcam. He uses the full thing. It's cute. That's a cute name. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just decided I wanted to, to see how, how web streaming would go on here. Like modern genius. Ah, okay. Same person. Cool. Okay, I, I have to make a lot of these connections where, like, I have... Because there's a lot of people who I think have been following me for a long time who have been, like, in mutuals with me for a long time. Um, and, like, I, I see them on different platforms, and I definitely know who all that all of them are on each platform. But then, like, if there's one name switch in the middle, I'll just... I don't know. It's hard to keep track of people, but, but cool. Okay, good. I have that down now. I'll try to remember it. Um, okay. Cool. So this is, I feel like they take out the need for like OBS and all that stuff with this first so that's top chat. I don't know what the difference between that is. I don't think I have enough chatters. Chat, chatters. Um, uh, is this better? I'm trying to like, sorry, everybody. I can't change YouTube. Was it Miami Sammy before? Because I feel like I've seen that name a bunch in other things. Has it been Miami Sammy in everything? I don't, I don't actually know. Is there a way to change YouTube uh, names? Because that's actually relevant to me. I don't know if I... If I would ever want to be Saints Trousers forever. I don't know. It was a name change coming up. Um, I can put a user in timeout? Ooh. Very fun. Very fun. That's a that's a fun thing. I know you can do that in, in Twitch too, but I don't know how to do it. And I just found out how to do it on YouTube. Um, no, just here. Okay. Um, uh, do I post this to Discord though? I'm gonna post it to Instagram, right, guys? I, I I I'm supposed to be. <laughs> it's incredible being a, a YouTube. Really? Okay, well, this seems easily Googleable. I'm just going to look into this real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, can you change your YouTube? This is just going to become a, uh, uh, <laughs> a support group. Um, uh, what do you say? Yeah, you can. Okay, I don't want to watch a whole video on this. Unless I'm, I'm not going to. No, okay. Um, uh, how do you change your name on YouTube? Uh, uh, next to your profile picture, click the words, edit on Google, enter your new channel name, hit OK. Uh, apparently that just changes it. Um, I can't believe there's a jail timeout on here. Yeah, right? I, 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 it excites me greatly. 
I, 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 I don't have that kind of power in my life. Yeah, Miami Sammy, change it up. Let's see. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna know that I helped you here. I wanna, <laughs> wanna see the fruits of my labor. Hi, Oliver. By the way, welcome to the show. <sighs> BRB, do it. I believe in you. Okay. Um, I'm going to post a selfie to Instagram, I guess. Uh, I won't. Is this a tech support stream? No, yeah, pretty much. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's. <laughs> I'm. I, but listen, I, I, I think it, if I help people with this, we're, we're going <laughs> to. Go change your name, Shy, if you want. Make some, make something cool. Take take my advice and roll with it. I'm, I gotta take a picture. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a picture with myself. I'm gonna take a selfie. Oh, yep. Yeah. Huh? I can't. Okay. This is actually. Yeah, all right. Oh, and, it, and it's uh, it splits down the bottom. Okay, that's cool because you can see Miami Sammy. It looks like I have more people in my stream. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm trying to take a selfie with myself, and it is is working out less well than I probably should have expected. If we're being realistic. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Oh, but my, my, I have this orange over here, and now it's just in the shot. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Okay, now we post to Instagram. Right, and we're there. What's my Instagram? Uh, my Instagram is Satan Strasser TV. I'd be happy to have you. Are you Modern Genius on there too? Presumably, if we got, if we, if we've, if we've unified everything, um, I don't post so much on Instagram. I probably should post more. I just don't do a lot. Um, but uh, I don't know. I think the stuff I post is fun. Um, I'm also trying to get into Twitter now. Twitter is the big, the big thing that I'm like. Um, trying to actually move into because I think Tumblr is is about as as dead in the water as it's going to get. Um, I'm getting texts. Um, but yeah, Satan's Rise TV is my uh, Instagram. Um, and yeah, one second. All right. Hey, there you are, and I'm going to give you a follow back because. That's cool. Thank you for the follow. Um, but yeah, so I'm basically just trying to decide if, if this is the more worthwhile way to stream in the future, because I've been trying out uh, um, Twitch streaming, uh, and it it's fine. It's cool. Um, I just, I don't really, it's annoying to have to build up a whole new viewer base, I guess. Um, and I don't know. I don't know if, if you guys will be interested in, in doing this. I, and I'm also trying to see if it's like just better in any way. Um, which I can't say it is, um, which is pretty cool. I like I like the layout. Um, hey, uh, what's up? How you doing? I, oh, hi, got a couple people here. Hi, Joseph, what's up? How you doing? I, I, I I basically just want to see how how people like this. After I never use it, you know, it's, yeah. And I, I, it's like it's it's a whole process to do that. It's like a, to 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 go and 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 build up from the bottom. Hey, oh yay! Okay, sick. Um, but uh, look at me helping people with with tech support on my first stream. Um, 
but I, I doing good. Just sat down with friends, do some house hunting online. Are you are you are you looking to buy a house? Is that the is that the game plan? That's very cool. Um, I don't know how to set up my OBS to this. Also, I don't know if there's a way to do both. I don't know if other people are going to help tech support me. I like this layout because Twitch never seems to work for me. Uh, looking for an apartment rent. That makes sense. Okay, well, is, is the area that you live in kind of like an ex Norway is expensive as hell. I didn't know you lived in Norway. Okay, that's very cool. I don't know a whole lot about Norway, if I'm going to be totally honest, but that's very cool. Good luck. I spent forever looking for an apartment. Yeah, I pretty much avoided that this this year. I could have moved into a new apartment, or I, I was thinking about maybe moving to a new apartment, but I really I happen to have a very cool place here, and my roommate's great. Um, well, I mean, he, yeah, he's great. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, and I, I don't know, I've been here for 11 years and you still don't speak the language. Wait, so where are you from originally? Anna, you have a very interesting life. You don't speak the language at all? Now I'm interested in Anna, your life is fascinating. You're here from Venezuela. Wait, so you came from Venezuela and you moved to Norway. Venezuela, I'm I'm assuming speaks Spanish. I'm just making that sweet guess. Um, my uh, my friend owns a rental company, and he managed to hook us up after months of looking. That's good. That's amazing. Uh, I can speak, but I have the accent from the other side of the country. So, is there are there are there two conflicting accents in the country? Is that is that and so? That's impressive that you can learn it regardless, especially how old were you when you moved? I really hope one language is Venezuela if you can speak. I'm going to look that up real quick. You probably. Venezuela. Uh, you were 16. And I am intrigued. Yeah, you should be intrigued. Anna's fucking life story is amazing. Um, language Spanish. Got it. I know geography. Cool. Okay. So you speak Spanish, and then you also speak Norwegian, which is pretty freaking cool. And you were 16. Okay. Then, yeah. No, I, if you've been here for 11 years, that's still impressive to learn a language at 16 and, and, you know, be living in a different country. Especially from Spanish to Norwegian, which I can't imagine are, like, similar languages. Ah! What? <laughs> Anna, your life's awesome. I mean, not awesome, but like, not that's not awesome. <laughs> not awesome, but like, um, eventful. I, I couldn't handle. I can't imagine how that must have been from you. Yeah, no, no shit. That's that's crazy. Wow. Okay, this stream just became. Uh, oh my god. I don't know, you should do a stream about about your own life story because you you seem to have, and you could do it while doing art because your art is very cool. So why Norway? How did you end up in Norway? Okay, I don't. I, a couple people just just joined. Uh, uh, Anna, Anna the Unknown has a fascinating life story that we're, we're delving into, and I hope that they're okay with me doing this and, and, and asking questions, because it's only... It's, I, I, I'm, I'm just fascinated. I hope I don't, I don't want to be putting you on the spot, but it's... Because oil companies. I mean, that makes sense. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Thank you for sharing your life story on here. And yeah, you do do our streams all the time. I'm... I'm it's, I'm saying, I don't know if, I don't know if that comes up. Transport in the industry and it was honestly a position of privilege. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. I'm just presumably Venezuela has a lot of oil. Fair. I, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm riveted. Oh, I didn't check. Uh, I haven't checked what, uh, I don't, oh, um, has everyone... I don't mean to, to get off topic on it. I'm still very interested. Uh, but has everyone here seen Endgame? Or has anyone here seen Endgame? Let's let's start there. Um, 
because I am heavily invested in the success of this movie. Box office mojo. Twice so far. Same! I have seen the movie twice already, and I fully intend on seeing it several more times. Uh, okay, we are we are well on our way to... Oh, my God. Well on our way to... to, to to two billion dollars, amazing. Uh, going again in a couple weeks. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go. Up. I can't imagine I'm gonna go less than four times. I'm probably gonna see this movie at least four times. Um, and and I I I you have not. Okay. Yeah, you saw it Tuesday. It was awesome. Yes, it was awesome. The, the it's so. I've been thinking about putting it out. I've, I've been thinking about putting out a video on. Uh, Endgame, not like in a spoilery way, but on the way that it's kind of been covered. Um, I don't know. I think I I, I, I think I might do it, but I, I want to wait until I guess everyone's seen it because I want it to be something that like people. Uh, small cogs, so, so I can't afford to go to that often. That makes sense. No, honestly, if if, if I happen to have like a, a movie theater like right next to me that charges ten dollars a t uh, movie ticket, which is just insanely cheap for nowadays. Uh, so I can I have the luxury of being able to to go and see out movies out in the theaters often. Uh, yep. Well, sh sh don't say say nothing. Say nothing. No words in this. I will. I will. I will. I will put people in timeouts. I can do that. I have that power. <laughs> um. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I get that. I get that, uh, you know, it's a lot of investment. But I'm just really invested in these movies. I've, I've, I've been going out and seeing these movies in theaters since I was a kid. And I don't know. I agree with everyone when they say that this, this movie really wrapped it all up really well. And I, I, I wanted to make a video not as, like, a review, but kind of as talking about how it's how it's kind of been received um, and all that stuff. So you can see that at some point. I just don't want to do it. Uh, um, oh, I used to live at Sugar Factory. I was a Anna, did you say you used to live at the sugar factory? <laughs> Why did you live at a sugar factory, Anna? You, <laughs> you understand how that's an odd thing to say. I can't... I, I have to... I, there needs to be a follow-up to that, Anna. <laughs> It was very ultra effective. My dad used to work at. We lived within the confines of the factory. That's very. You're. You have a storied life. I I I I'm, I'm very cool. I I can't help but feel like you were your your backstory was written. Very cool. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Um, how's this going so far? I think I think. I don't really have anything in particular I wanted to talk about. Uh, you should write a book. Yes! Yeah, you really should. I just feel like the more I talk to you, the more questions I'm going to ask you, the more I might make this into a comic. Yeah! About your life story? About me talking about your life story? Because <laughs> everything you say is becoming more and more... I, you, every explanation you give makes me have more questions. And they're all good questions uh, about the life story. Yeah, no, do it. You're, it's, I'm kind of intrigued now. Because I, I, I don't know if you feel this way because you grew up this way. But that's, I don't know, uh, 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 someone who uh, grew up at a sugar factory, uh, who uh, her parents were uh, high up in the oil industry also, but I, I don't even know what the timeline is. Wait, that, I, because now I, you said two different, because you said they were in the industry, but then also they, how old are you? To you, it's super mundane. Yeah, but this is not how people, people grow up. This is not like, like a normal thing. It's very cool, but it's not, this is not standard is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm glad I did this just for this. This is a fascinating life story. Um, welcome, everyone. Uh, once again, I'm 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 talking about uh, Anna Anna the Unknown. It has a fascinating life story. 
where 27. So that makes sense because you said 13 years or uh, 13 years you've been in. Okay. I don't think I known, uh, lived in Norway or lives in Norway now, used to live in Venezuela where their parents were like oil executives but had to leave because something happened. I don't know if you specified specifically, but um, something happened. Uh, and also they lived in a sugar factory growing up. Um, and they, do you want to have this info? Honestly, yeah. Yes, I do. Hi, 11 people. Jeez, okay, hi, everybody. Um, but I, 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 I seriously want to talk with you about your life story. Hi, I'm, okay, how do we do this? Let's talk, uh, let's, let's, let's talk shop. I, uh, your life story is fascinating to me and I want to know more about it. <laughs> I don't know how to link. I gotta. I have to find a way to link. I don't know how to link voice to to stream. But I'm down to do this. If we do this, we do this. One second. Okay. Let's get pull up Discord here. Uh, hi. Okay. So if I if I join this call, will it? Hello. Hello. Hi. Um. Okay. Okay. I need to like stop your stream so I can actually listen to you like in real time. So this is like. Okay. okay, I I I want to just check if does, does it sound okay for everyone else who's listening? Uh, can they can they hear me? That's the question because I I yeah. think it would make sense that it you it yeah. would but let's let's hopefully. Oh yeah, they can. Apparently they can. Awesome. Okay. okay cool. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, okay. Now I'm gonna get self conscious about my accent. Oh no. <laughs> Well, why would you get self conscious about your accent if you have? <laughs> you speak three languages at least, minimum, what right? What do you mean? It's uh, it's not it's no big compared to like my friends who tend to like, speak more languages than well, I do. You speak so. you speak English, Spanish, Norwegian, and yeah, is, is that it? Um, is that and it? Polish when I'm drunk? And Polish. <laughs> Does that mean like? Yeah, that I'm half Polish. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. That's cool. Okay, so yeah. four languages. Great. Awesome. Okay, so. <laughs> Okay, where did you learn Polish? Oh, uh, well, I learned Polish uh, through my family because, uh, well, like, I went to visit uh, the family from my grandparents uh, at, like, a small village in the south of Poland. And uh, and that was, like, that was, I think, five years ago that we went to visit them. We had, uh, it's, like, removed family, but uh, it's still... Uh, Okay. Oh, uh, modern genius says that they speak uh, English and bits and pieces of Spanish and German. That's really cool. Yeah. No, I, I, I like, like, I personally also speak a lot of languages, but it's, it's less mm -hmm. from my own efforts and more because of just being when you grow up Jewish, you automatically speak like three languages. But like, oh yeah, no, absolutely, yeah, so, you can imagine. But yeah, no, but this is like what's crazy about this is that the languages I speak are all like kind of connected. So I basically just learned them yeah. because they're all just different dialects. What you're speaking is. Presumably Spanish has not, I mean, I don't know. Is Spanish similar to Norwegian in any way? Or is oh, it absolutely not. Like, Spanish is uh, definitely far, far removed. Spanish is from like, you know, the Latin roots, yeah. uh, like French and Italian and Portuguese and all that. But uh, so it's gonna be a totally Norwegian different comes thing. from like Germanic sort of stuff, like German is and um, English. Okay, it just, did Polish help with that at all or is it not like? Uh, not really because like uh, it is it is pretty different. Like Polish is sort of like more similar to like Ukrainian and a bunch of other stuff. So it, it was a bit, it was like honestly like a language confusion. So that's why I don't speak that much Polish. Just like little phrases here and there and, and, and more like, you know, uh, you know, the typical stuff that you you know tend to say when you're drunk. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Sure. Wait. So okay, yeah. I want to I want to start from the beginning. I want to I want to get the whole. I want to get the story. So you were okay, born. Okay. So you want to get the story? Uh, you were born uh, in. So I was born in Venezuela. Uh, I was cool. born in a little town of a little city called Maracaibo. Okay. Uh, but my parents are from another town called Barquisimeto, which is also known as the Twilight Town, which is a nice name to it. That is a nice um, name. Beautiful. Yeah, okay. it, is, it is pretty lovely. Okay. And uh, so, uh, so my uh, my mom was, and I guess like I don't know, like it's it's kind of sad, but like she was uh, she was the youngest of eleven siblings, okay. and uh, she was an or orphan at the age of six, uh, uh, the age of twelve, I think, or sixteen. Uh, like I know it was twelve, yeah. 
and uh, and yeah, and uh, and uh, she met my dad when she was like in her twenties. Wait, she was one of the oldest children, or she was one of the youngest children? She was one of the youngest. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, so then at least there were older, there were there were older children. Yeah, there were older siblings that took care of her, and like so, she she basically roamed around and like with every everybody from the family. So it was pretty nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, and yeah, and she was uh, she she was a pharmacist still like that's that's her job so she cool. can read like the you know very scribbly letters of doctors and okay. stuff like that. But that's pretty fun. You mentioned you mentioned an oil fat. You you mentioned, you mentioned oh, yeah. oil factory oh, okay. and you mentioned so, uh, sugar okay. factory. So my dad's an engineer and okay. he works in like projects and stuff like that. So in like the security part of like you know when when like uh, making sure that like pressure pipes and stuff like that is all like correct and, and uh, project management and all that kind of stuff. Sure. So like okay. making sure that everything in the process of whatever you're producing or, or, or fabricating becomes like safe to the public and to the people that work on it. So okay. with that, it's a very versatile kind of job. And he worked first in a cement factory before I was born. And okay. then uh, and then and then he worked in the oil industry for a little bit. Okay. And, bef- and as like the like the revolution in Venezuela began, uh, okay. it was very difficult to find jobs within the oil industry. So he worked at a sugar factory for a while. Okay, and then um, you lived in that sugar factory. Yeah, we lived in a sugar factory. It was really it's you, you understand how that's fairy tale esque, right? Like you understand that that's that's <laughs> yeah, I guess you know, like lots of you know fields of sugar cane, and then yeah. and then like Wait, the, the it... two sort of harvest seasons and the and the black snow, like which wasn't really black snow, but it was Excuse more me? like ash falling from the sky as like they burned the sugar cane so they could harvest it. Yeah. Oh that's not that's okay, that's that's less sugar. That's okay, that's less fairy tale than than it sounds, I think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well that's upsetting. Because <laughs> yeah. when you hear I don't know, you hear sugar factory, you think you think candy canes and, and, and gumdrops. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> it's not as, it's not as well painted. Sadly. Okay, but that's still fa- that's still cool. Okay, fine. So then you so you lived in all these various places. Um, and then you were you you had to leave because the revolution was was getting uh, yeah intense, things presumably. were like a little bit more complicated and then uh, and so then, like, you moved with course, your family like, though yeah like my family was basically blacklisted from like several things like my my fa- my family couldn't find jobs in very specific places because the government would you know be very upset with that because like we didn't agree with what was going on so uh, I mean. That's not very nice. Okay. okay. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, 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 Water flame. I just want to uh, explain uh, to anyone new who came in. Uh, Anna has a very fascinating life story, yeah, and I, 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 they mentioned several points, uh, and every point was more interesting than the next. So I decided to put them on Discord, so we could talk about it because it's just really interesting, and I think. Yeah, I think everyone's <laughs> everyone wants it's to know more. Yeah, yeah, it's a weird timeline. Yeah, put it together though. Yeah, I, well, it, it's because you mentioned. Okay, the first thing that was mentioned was, um, uh, I believe it was that you you had to, you you lived in Norway now, yeah. but you used to live in Venezuela, which is already yeah. interesting. Um, and then uh, <laughs> uh, from from that, we got into the fact that you 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 had to leave due to the revolution. And yeah. also the fact that you used to live in a sugar factory, all yeah. of which are yeah. fascinating points. Um, <laughs> and and so the, the the next question I have is that uh, is there um, now that we're looking at it from a, a, uh, under a magnifying glass, is there anything yeah. else in your life that you think uh, was particularly interesting that may, that may be of note to the to the viewers of this <laughs> this stream? Uh, uh... <laughs> I don't know, like, some people mention, like, they, they get a little bit, like, spooked whenever I say that I, uh, the once uh, I, 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 like, I've survived an attempt to kidnap him once, so, that's the thing. Okay. Well, like, not twice. Twice? Yeah. Once when I was a baby, though. Yes, Waterflame, we do need to talk about that at one point. <laughs> you've, you've brought that up before, one second, but... Oh my god! What? Butterfly. Um. <laughs> Their comment is amazing. Yeah, but but this is this. I wanna. I don't wanna distract from what you yeah. just said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the Who tried to kidnap you the yeah. first time? Who? Uh, that was a uh, um. Well, wasn't me specifically, but uh, one of my friends who uh. 
uh, who his father had like uh, a company that like had some like something to do with like um, industrial equipment and stuff. And so I was walking to his house uh, with with my friend, and okay. we were walking, and uh, and so a van stopped and was trying to like you know take us in and whatever not like you know how how this kind of things happen. I, I don't know how this kind of things happen. It's never happened to me. People. It's, just, it's just a very common happenstance in Venezuela. So like you 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 know you know you're aware of this shit. You 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 know you have your phone always on hold and you like you know you try to call. You how old were you when this happened? Phone. I was 12. 12. Okay, all right. And that was the first time. The second time. Well, like, no, it was the second time. The first time was when I was a baby. Well, okay, what was the first time then? What yeah, but my mom uh, was in a car and, uh, and and she was waiting for my dad who was doing some grocery shopping. Okay. And and then and then uh, a strange woman just sort of out of the blue uh, was very taken like aback by the fact that apparently I was a very good looking baby. And she and she tapped the window and said, "Hey, that's a really good looking baby." And like, good on you for you know having a baby. I don't know, okay, like what yeah. people say to people who have babies. Yeah, and, standard. <laughs> and, and then, then uh, and then, so the woman was just like, "Oh, can I call them?" And 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 the woman was like, "Oh, yeah, no, it's fine. Like, I mean, it's just a well-meaning stranger, right?" And then she's like, "Oh, she's like yikes!" She, and like she and ran. my mom has to run to get me. But then my dad just sort of like saw this thing as he walked out of the store, dropped the groceries, and punched the lady. You you understand that that's nuts, right? You uh, <laughs> like I mean, you have to understand that that's crazy. I do, like I do. Hi, Vlani, v- Viani, sorry, uh, um, Vlani. <laughs> uh, uh, and this is my life. Oh my god. Okay. I'm glad we're all experiencing this together because this is there's a lot of times when like somebody will say something to you and like because it's normal to that person, there will be like there'll be like a moment where you're like, is this is crazy? And they're like, is it? And you're like, I don't know, is it? Maybe I haven't experienced anything. This is crazy. This is there's a lot of crazy stuff that's happening all at once. Very cool. Okay. So you were so you, almost yeah. can't, you you gotta write a biography, man. You gotta write. Yeah, sure. I, should, I, should, I, should. <laughs> sure. I just this would be a this would be a fun comic. Also, I, also, do you want just because there's 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 nine people in here? Do you want to uh, uh, plug your your Twitch or, or something? Oh yeah, yeah sure. Well, uh, my Twitch is uh, another known without the hyphens, and uh, and yeah, I guess my Twitter is another known as well, just without. Put them, put them in the chat. People, yeah, people, guess, people, uh, go uh, check you out. Is yeah. they do they do fun fun art streams. Yeah, um, I, I draw stuff, and I uh, and then I talk about other stuff than my life. I, and, I move the animation. And clearly, there's a lot to talk about. Because <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh man! To an no, this is this is uh, what a wonderful. We definitely still, for the record, need to talk about the dominatrix thing because that's been brought up like so. Oh, yeah, please. Actually, do we want to? Wonderful. Do you want to come on next? We could do like a we'll do like a little round robin where everyone tells their most interesting stories because this is this is yeah, just this sounds really fun. I like this. Okay. All right. Water flame. All right. All right. If, yeah. if you're if you're ready, we're gonna get you on. But but uh, yeah, I think I'll go so we can give space yeah. to our new friend. Cool. <laughs> Anna, uh, thank you for for coming on. Uh, yeah. And and uh, put, write write your names and uh, the the links in the chat so we can we, everyone yeah. can go and and follow. Oh, that's so good. Then. All, right. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> All right, um, water flame. I, I, I'd like to know about this real quick. Um, uh, bu- bu- bu. This is like a live podcast. This is this is fun. I could do this. I'll do like little 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 mini interviews. This is fun. I like this. Oh yeah, and 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 thank you for sharing on. I I I don't know if I, I I said a proper thank you, but thank you. I I I I really did kind of put you on the spot there. And uh, <laughs> you came through big. That was that was great. That was a lot of very interesting stuff. I feel like a lot of people have these like interesting stories um, uh, that they don't realize are, are interesting until they're they're shared. I've shared a lot of my very interesting stories because I think I think they were interesting. Um, but I think everyone's got like a, a certain number of of those stories, and not everyone's going to write a biography. So let's I don't know. Let's talk about them. 
This is fun. Okay. Um, what's uh, 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 water flame? Let's let's get you on. Here, where is talking? Where, where, where? Have you on Discord? I'm pretty sure. Water flame. I'm gonna start a voice call with you. Hello. 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 Okay, hold on. Let me. Oh God. Use that. There we go. Perfect. Okay. You say something there for the. Oh yes. Okay. Real quick. Uh, Anna. Yes, I know. I gotta do that. Uh, Anna did a did a uh, alien cowboy. I believe it was or a robot cowboy. Um, uh, animation, and I'm supposed to do a, a some kind of voiceover for it. I haven't really put a whole lot of thought into it yet, but I'm, I got I, I do really want to do it because it seems cool. It seems like a cool <laughs> thing. I've never really gotten into uh, voiceover stuff, but hi, Water Flame. I, I'm doing voice acting. <laughs> have you? Oh, well, okay. Oh, yeah. well, well, that brings us to Fish Cowboy, right? I forgot. God, that's gonna be fun. I got. I do want to <laughs> do that. Um, okay. Well, let's let's talk about this first. First of all, I want to know about the dominatrix thing because. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, their, their art is really fascinating, Modern Genius. Is that like they do cool stuff? Um, but Dominatrix, um, how did that come about? How did you spend a year as a so, Dominatrix? <laughs> um, well, I mean, it was one of the weirder years of my life. Um, I was in my early 20s, okay, uh, and I had a friend who happened to work at a strip club and was doing some porn pictures and stuff on the side and okay. kind of was like, hey, I'm doing this thing and I need a, a ride there because I don't trust where I'm going. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, sure. Yeah, no big deal, whatever. Um, oh, I'm uh, 38. Now I will be thirty nine. I'd year. like to comment though. What does what does it mean to sound like a dominatrix? <laughs> yeah, that's that's a. I mean, I don't know if that's a bad. Thing, I mean, but that's that I seems mean, fine. Honestly, this is this is my normal voice. What's your I, oh? What's your dominatrix voice? <laughs> well, it depends on it depends on the situation. So here's the thing. Okay, let's let's um, get into this real quick. Well, but hold on. Let me let me tell you the story of how I got into right. It. Okay, no. I'm sorry. Let's focus okay. on one thing at a time. Okay. Yeah, one thing at a time. Gotta start at the beginning. So I um I drove her to this shady, shady like warehouse district. Um and she was doing a couple of pictures and whatever. And one of the weird things that they needed was for somebody to be wearing like a high-heeled boot and stepping on someone. And she would not do it. She's like, I, I'm not stepping on anyone, I'm not doing this, whatever. And I was like, I'll step on what? Yeah, and I was like, I was like, what are you getting paid for these? And she's like, Well, I mean, yeah. And I was like, I'll get paid to step on someone. I'm good with this. Like, whatever. And so they did. They're like, okay, fine, we'll pay you. We'll give you the 20 bucks. And and so I was like, like okay, it's, fine. It's is that what it costs to get somebody to step on you? Well, no, it was that particular situation. Oh. Okay. I, my, I, I my want price to know, is prices are going to be something that I'm going to be very interested in on later. Okay, that's <laughs> that's a pricing is something because I, I as a businessman I feel like it's an important thing to know what the what the going yeah. rates for <laughs> in different industries you, are. <laughs> you also have to remember that this was you know like 10, 15 years ago now. Jesus, oh man, time that, goes by. Um, still, and you know. I was in the suburbs of Chicago, so I wasn't even like in Chicago proper. Um, okay, so this is all happening. This is a this is a, you, you live in Chicago currently, correct? Well, I live in the suburbs. Okay, well, I'm, okay, sorry, the, the Chicago area. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm the only one in my family who has never lived in the city of Chicago. I've always lived in the suburbs. Okay. Very fun. Cool. Okay, um, back to the dominatrix stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you disappear, my data craft out. Totally reasonable. Thank you for for, for being here. Regardless, we're, we're gonna find we're 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 delving more into into uh, oof, uh, we're delving more into into um, water flame story now. Continue. Sorry. <laughs> you can call me by my actual name, which is Cat. Yeah. I'm, Kat. Well, I, I, I'm I'm trying to do. I was just uh, in general referring to everyone by their username. But okay, so we'll go by Cat. Cat. 
All right, yeah. cat, water <laughs> like, flame water, is- Water is, flame is the, the last name, stage name. Cat is my first name. I'm okay with that. Last name um, is, wait. Okay, okay, sorry. My, my last name is long and Jewish. Oh. And um, I don't use it. Okay, totally reasonable. Because, but yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so I, I've been, I've used water flame as my last name for like 30 years Cat now. So. Water flame. Okay, cool. Um, Very cool. Okay. Continue. That's a story for later. Yeah, Let's finish I, this one. <laughs> the dominatrix one is the one that I'm, I'm, I, I need to know about. Sorry. Go. Dominatrix. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, no. But, but so, like I said, it was, it was a, a super shady warehouse and this was a, like she was getting paid, like, I think it was like 400 bucks or whatever for these pictures. And they're like, yeah, sure. We'll give you like 20 bucks to put on a shoe. And I'm like, okay, fine. Because they couldn't lace up the shoe. Because I have big feet. I'm I'm a big girl. Okay. Um, and the shoe was, I think, like a size eight or something, and I wear like a size ten. And so I'm like, all right, well, it, I'm sure you'll figure out how to make it work. Okay. So I pull the shoe on and I step on this dude. And he and he, how do you how do you handle it? He was very happy with it. Um, okay. And uh, it. It was one of those where it was just supposed to be a picture. Like, I wasn't supposed to really put weight on him or whatever, but it was definitely fetish pictures. And I don't remember exactly what happened that I wound up, like, actually stepping on him, but I think I was, like, shifting my weight or something, and I wound up actually stepping on him, and the sound he made... Oh, oh, this is not going to be a PG-13 stream. <laughs> I no, no, I will keep it as PG as I can. Okay. Uh, the sound he made was was very um graphic. I'm sure. Uh, and so the people that were that were doing the pictures gave me like 20 bucks and he gave me a hundred. <laughs> okay. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, this is a thing that I could So you made a you do. made a you made a hundred hundred twenty dollars. From shifting weight. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, all right, sure. Fun. Um, okay. Well, we got we're, we're getting more people coming in to to uh, glad you got compensated <laughs> accordingly. Yeah. If you step on a dude's, it was hold on. Where did you step on him? That's another. Was it, it was stepping on. It was stepping on his chest. Oh, light yeah. kink stuff. Easy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I super thought super, super <laughs> just, it was just supposed to be a picture. All right. It was just supposed to be. He a gave picture. you a hundred dollars to step on his chest. Who has that yeah. kind of money? Uh, what well, he did and his friends did. Oh, man, I step um, on all kinds of chests for a hundred bucks. I know, right? Chest um, is not the thing that I thought was was being stepped on here, but that's good. Okay, hundred bucks. Easy well, money. Like I said, it was just for the picture. Okay. But now, so, now clearly, you said this was for a year. So clearly, mm -hmm. this is yeah. For the record, also, are these pictures not that I want them in this chat at all? But <laughs> I, are the I do not have any of these pictures. Damn it. Okay, continue. <laughs> yeah. No, I um, I had there was a fire in my apartment, and I lost um everything. I lost a lot of stuff. Um, we'll talk about I that. Did. We'll get there later. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, no, that was a there was an electrical fire in my apartment like a, a few years back, and and I just I lost a lot of stuff, and so I don't have a lot of stuff. Jeez. Okay. Um. um okay. What did to to pause for a second? Uh, <laughs> that means that you did have those pictures at one point, though. Yes, okay. I had the pictures and I had the negatives. Oh. Okay. Um. So now. Uh, you said this was something that happened for for a year. Uh, yeah. So um, this was just the beginning of your career, is, is yeah. what I'm hearing here. Okay, fine. So what happened next? So I wound up exchanging numbers with the photographer people um, because it was like, hey, you know, if you're going to give me twenty bucks to step. put on a boot that doesn't fit and step on a guy, I'm I'm down for this. Well, presumably next time they'd have a shoot at thing. They're professional. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> You'd think. Yeah. Um, and so they wound up sharing my number with a couple of other people. Okay. And I wound up somehow. Okay, so here's here's the thing. It was one of those where it was a fluke thing, and I kind of stumbled into it because I wound up with a finding somebody else who was kind of in the scene and telling me about stuff that was happening, whatever. And there was never any like 
sex happening. I wasn't I wasn't a, a prostitute. I wasn't a sex worker. You were just. It was just so you were. Well, so what? Okay. So what? What does a dominatrix do different than a sex worker? For for those who are unclear, including myself. Well, it it really does depend on what the person wants. Um, I, oh man, this this is now going to be on recording for ever. Uh, is, um, does this stay recorded, by the way? Because I, I don't know. I don't want to lose that that little exchange with Anna before. I don't know if does this stay. On, I think I can. I once I yeah. once I end this, this is on YouTube. Perfect. Okay, this yeah, is yeah. this is great. Um, <laughs> carry on, knowing knowing that this is this is this is gonna be on my channel for forever. Okay. Once, once this is on the internet, um, my mother can see this. Um, oh God! <laughs> does your, no, oh, no, it's fine. Does it's your mother fine. follow me? Is, uh, of all of the people in my family to to find out about this, my mother is the least of my worries. Cool. Okay. Well, tell your mother to subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, so, sorry, uh, the, the difference, no, no. Of, uh, the difference between a, a sex worker and a, a dominatrix in this the, scenario. The biggest difference between a sex worker and a dominatrix is that a sex worker has sex with their clients. So my, my question here is, um, what is the line? What, what is it? Is it? What was your line, I guess? Because I guess that's a it is a probably a, a personal thing. What is what qualifies mm -hmm. as um, a, a sex act versus not a sex act? Because uh, um, stepping on someone's chest, I don't think is sexual necessarily. If somebody <laughs> wants to get sexual pleasure from it, that's up to them. But <laughs> I think the the difference for me personally is I was never naked. Okay. Um. That's a that's a that is a, a strong distinction. Fine. Was a dom provides a service of fulfilling someone's kinks, yes. kinks can be sexual, but some aren't. Okay. So what, um, what, well, let's, I guess while we're in, in now, now we're, now we're in this. So what is the weirdest uh, dom thing that you had to do? What was the weirdest uh, uh, kink you had to fulfill? Hi, mom. I, uh, <laughs> I think, I think the weirdest one was probably the guy who wanted to be treated like a baby. Um, like literally wearing a diaper and a little bonnet and he wanted me to feed him with a bottle. Um, uh, now, would you do the audience a favor and, and paint a picture of this man? Uh, uh, just, just, just. <laughs> so here's the thing. And this is, this is where like, whatever you're thinking, it's wrong. Mm. I'm fairly certain. Okay, most that's people, why I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, most people would assume that, like, you know, oh, he wants to be a baby, so he's probably huh. a pudgy guy and whatever. Yeah, no, think more like what's what's the what's an actor that would be a good? Was he shredded? I hope he was shredded. Think like Vin Diesel. Oh man, that's funny. But like a thin Vin Diesel, like Vin muscles, Diesel. But thin. <laughs> Vin Diesel. Okay, wait. So, so would you like? Would you cat? Would you hold him like a baby? Like in a like a like a um, like cradling him? Yeah. It I'm having scary. such a great time right now. I'm having <laughs> such a fantastic time right now. Okay, so yeah, this, so this, is, so this is this is this kind of tough guy dude, mm -hmm. who just wants was, to be treated like a baby. Yeah, oh, oh, I think that's, so good. that's actually okay. a lot of it. Is like a a lot of people want somebody that will treat them in a way that they're not treated in normal life. Oh, um, okay. So so can you would you be able? Is there another example of of, of that um, thing? Yeah, I had I had one guy who was like CEO of a company, like big wig, muckety muck kind of guy. And he wanted to be like disrespected, probably. No, see, here's the thing, right? So he okay. gave orders all day long. He would like tell people what to do all day, whatever. And so he would come to me and I would tell him what to do. And it didn't matter what I said, he would do it. And so I could have, you know, I literally, I think at one point I had him, uh, Cleaning the bathroom with a toothbrush. 
can't remember what and, it was. And, and they would pay you for this handsomely, yeah. I presume. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, this is great. Yeah. This is awesome. This is, this is everything. Just don't tell the IRS because, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I, I I like to keep a back channel on my uh, on all my streams <laughs> to the IRS, because because God knows I want them to. Uh, but uh, <laughs> thousands of dollars that you made uh, yeah. fifteen years ago that you did not give us any of. It's <laughs> from all those from all that stepping on people's chests. So, what was yep. the while we're on this topic? What what was the most um, common uh, 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 dumb practice that you you were like was, the, the most common was just giving people orders. Yeah. Oh, so it was pretty okay. But so the the it's it the the um CEO guy stood out to you because he, that was his specifically because he was giving out orders all. Yeah, day. and it was literally like for him it didn't matter what I told him to do. He would just do it. Yeah, like I could have told him to pay to pay all of my bills, and he probably would have. Oh, you know. That's awesome. You realize you lived the dream for it. Well, okay. Well, this 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 comes to the to the, I guess the the point where I ask because you said you only did it for a year, and this seems too good to be true as far as I'm seeing right now. So, what what happened that made you made you want to quit? What made you step out of the game? Um, honestly, <laughs> I realized for me personally that it it wasn't like yeah, the money was amazing, um, but it wasn't like the lifestyle that I wanted. You know what I mean? Um, sure. I, 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 I mean, I know what you mean for myself, but what, what do you, it was just, you just didn't want to be a dominatrix. Was that, was that, is that is it well, basically that? <laughs> I, I think, okay. So here's the thing. And, and like the, the biggest thing for me is like, I think at the end of that year was probably about when I was realizing that I was asexual. Okay. And so like, that was also part of it is like trying to figure out how, my life translated into this world because like I'm I'm pan romantic so it's like I'm I'm attracted to men women non-binaries like sure okay in your, your bits don't matter it's it's who you are that matters sure but I and I don't mind sex I have no issues with it I enjoy it when I'm having it I just don't care so much like I would I could be sitting watching a movie and having just as much enjoyment with someone you know Oh. But this was a little bit, I don't know how to, it was very much going into a territory that was becoming less safe for me, I guess would be sure. the best way. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So it was more of like a, a mental health decision. Is that, is that fair to yeah. say? Yeah. Sure. Okay, well that that that's fine. I, I I honestly I think that it sounds terrifying to me. I actually don't think I'd be able to to do this type of work um, because I, I I don't think I don't know. Uh, there's something there's something about um, I, maybe it's just a, it might just be like a natural politeness in me that I don't. <laughs> if somebody tells me step on my my junk, I'm, I, my my first inclination is like no. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No. <laughs> um, why, but, why would I do such a thing? No. Yeah. Why would you know? Don't. I wouldn't do yeah, that. Yeah. No. To I, you. I totally get that. I totally get that. No, but, so the fact that you like the fact that it, it's something sex and kink doesn't provide much insurance. Yeah. That that that, that tracks. I, I mean, it's true. But but see see Anna now the the problem with that is that I walk dogs now and that doesn't give me like anything either. So. Okay. But, do you do the you do like Wagger the the? No, I'm I work for myself. Oh, cool. Okay, very no. cool. Uh, not even places where it's more legal. Yeah, I I, I can I can imagine honestly, and I, it's a it, it's an inconsistent business I'd imagine too because you're basically yeah. just always trying to pull clients and you know especially with the internet how it is nowadays I'm sure that it's yeah I think it. that's also part of it is that is that I started I started and ended before like. The, the whole internet sex was a yeah. huge thing. Like it was big, but like I wasn't like on Facebook as like I can do this for you and whatever. Like there wasn't anything like that. I didn't like a website or anything. It was all word of mouth. Sure. And you know what? That's probably 
that's probably for the best. Is it fair to say? <laughs> like, if you're, if yeah. Because I think the the thing that people say about the, the porn industry, which I guess the, the not, I guess eh, porn adjacent. Well, is that fair to say? Fair to, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the people say that like if you're in it, you have to have an exit plan while you're in it because uh, mm -hmm. you basically you kind of. I uh, can't really escape it so much once you're out of it. So you have to like get your, your licks in while, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, um, you know, get everything in while you're, while you're there and then, and then have an exit plan. So I guess if the, the, the ideal is kind of that it, you were in and out, you got, you, you made a little bit of money, had a good year, I guess, probably. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I made a lot of money. I, I can, I can imagine. This is great. This is the, this is a great thing. I've wanted to ask about this for the longest time because this is, <laughs> The worst part for me, though, is that, like, I was, you know, in my 20s, I had no real recollection of how to deal with anything. So I didn't actually, like, save any of that money. I used it. Like, I, I, I'd get paid and I'd go and buy the things I needed. And so, like, but, I think that's the hardest part but for me. Is did, you at least, did you at least buy stuff that you needed that would last or did you just buy stuff? Like, was yeah, no, thing? like, a little bit of both. I I usually, it was usually buying, like, groceries and Okay, then that's... Like, that. like, it was stuff that I needed. Um, Were you doing work while doing this, or was this your job? Like, was your job... This, was that what you're saying? I was working at the video store. Uh, at the same time, nobody there knew. Um, <laughs> so was it was it a blockbuster, or was it just a... Yes. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. So it's yeah. a block. So you were a blockbuster video employee who sidelined as a dominatrix. Is that? Yep. I'm gonna write a character about you. I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna I'm gonna write a book with a character. Okay, continue. I'm sorry. So you so you yeah. worked at no. the, the video store. <laughs> yeah, I worked. I. It's really funny. Like working at the video store was weird because like I loved my job. I just hated the company I worked for. Um. Because it was a great job. I got to interact with people and, you know, whatever. But, like, just the company sucked. Um, okay. But, yeah, the, the, the Dom thing was kind of a nights and weekends or mornings and weekends, depending. <laughs> mornings? Were there, were there, were there, was there ever a, a 6 a.m. call? Was there... <laughs> um, I think the earliest was 8 a.m., but, yeah. 8 a.m.? Okay, wait. Real quick, uh, Anna just asked if uh, Kat if they could draw you uh, because you sound super cool. Um, oh yeah. I, I, okay, permission gotten. Um, but what was the eight a.m. call? I don't suppose you um, um, remember. I honestly don't remember exactly what it was. Something to do with breakfast, but I don't remember what Something now. Something to do with breakfast. Okay. Was it like feeding them, or was it with? Um, no. No. Okay. I won't. I won't, what else could it be? I don't like. It doesn't say. I don't. I don't remember. No, that's it's, why it's funny. Wait. That's why it's funny though, because I, you say no because it means you know it's not that, but you remember it had something to do with it. So, <laughs> which begs the question for me, what? <laughs> what? Could that have, that's amazing. God, I love that. I, okay. I want to say it was it was something like like making them cook something or something. I honestly okay. I don't remember. It's been too long, but sure. You have to order them I to make breakfast. Anna, why does everyone seem to be more more like in line with the the Kingsters train of thought than I am? I feel like I'm having a hard time aligning my Kingster. Is that what they call them, the Kingsters? <laughs> uh, no, but that's okay. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, the Kingster and the Kinky, right? That's the. the <laughs> K I can eat. Oh. K I can eat. Um, the, the dom and the sub. I no, I I I, I know. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. This is this is great. Um, so, all right. Well, I guess I guess while I have you here, because you said this is the, that uh, Anna's story was more interesting. But I figure if we're if we're already doing this, is there is there any other uh, interesting uh, jobs or careers that you've uh, or or events that have happened that you wanna wanna bring up? Some uh, some highlights. Um, I mean, it's okay if not. I'm I'm, I'm that I'm, happened that ha happened during that year. No, I I I I'm I'm more I'm I'm putting because I, I, when I when I said to to Anna I it, like every time there was a new I only attract subs so I need 
<laughs> you're looking for a, a, <laughs> you know, a sub who only I, attracts subs who needs to figure out how to dom. I spend plenty I, of time on the internet behind that. <laughs> I, I just, I just don't, I'm not it's, thinking. It's really funny for me. Cause I think like part of, part of the fact that I am ace kind of makes it so that I'm much more dom than I am sub. I was going to say, it's probably helpful. It probably is a helpful yeah. thing in the, Oh my God! It's pro you have a, you have a, just a biological advantage. It's a, it's a, it's a God given gift. Uh, <laughs> and I, okay, right. so let's let's do this. If, if we're sticking to the to the the dom the dom thing, what would be a dom tip that you would give for 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 uh, uh, baby's first dominatrix dominatrixing? What, what, do you have a, um, a, a tip, a, a, a pro tip? Um, if you're going to be in heels, find the most comfortable ones you can be in. Okay. Um, don't wear pleather. Chafing, presumably? No, more just... Uh, the Vita Pen, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, pleather gets a lot warmer. Um, than actual leather does because there's no breathability. That makes sense. Okay. So um, so go go for the real stuff if you're going to wear leather is, is what you're saying. Right. Okay. Um, um, just because something costs more doesn't mean it's better. Okay. So um, like, does that, is that like re regarding like tools and stuff? Like yeah. The, okay. Equipment. Okay. I, th I think actually I might still have a couple of my riding crops in a closet. Okay. Um, did you did you use whips or is it just was it just the, the um, I had I had two riding crops and I had a cat of nine tails. Did you have a favorite? A what? Did you have a favorite to use? Um yeah actually I had one of my one of the riding crops was was my favorite and it, it's actually a riding crop that I got from a horse place. So it's meant to be used so it's on meant a horse. to be used on horses. Who? Okay. And, yeah. And and when? Okay. Let, uh, on a scale of one to ten, I'm I'm coming up with more questions as I because there's just so much I'm interested in on this. I didn't make a cool <laughs> sound when you slap things. Things being people, let's not let's I not mean, uh, let's not skip over yes. that. Watch me. Oh my god, my little brother's watching Shimmy. <laughs> 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 oh boy! <laughs> what don't, is he watching with no audio? Don't turn on the audio. <laughs> What's his name? That's, that's my little brother, Shimmy. Um, oh. uh, all right. Well, well. Here's my my follow up question to you. Um, on a scale of one to ten, mm -hmm. ten being the hardest you've ever hit something in your entire life, um, and and one being the 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 softest little tap you'd ever pat a little kitty with. Um, what, what was the recommended or I, I guess what is the, what is the hardest you've ever hit somebody with a, with a, a flail or, or one of those things? Is uh, it with a crop? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like probably like a, like a five or six. Like oh. it's not, it's not meant to be. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what people are. I, I don't know what people are into. I like, cause, cause when you say that the item is, is meant for use on, on like animals. I Okay. So a riding crab, when you're on a horse, you're, I don't... you're meant to like, if you're riding on a horse, you're meant to, if you want the horse to go faster, you can hit the horse with the crop and it'll go faster because horses bodies are much more, dense muscle yeah and so hitting them with a crop isn't which is why i assumed it was like more sturdy i really have never i've ridden a horse right in my life, so i'll, I'll have to see if i can if i can find <laughs> i'll take pictures and put them in the discord please do um, genuinely <laughs> yeah I will, I will see if i can find my crop because i think i have the crop in my closet i'm not positive i will look though um okay but like it's not meant for torture like i'm not beating somebody up with it it's just meant to like spark it, pain is that what it like just like a yeah. little a little okay because that's like when it, i when i think dom i really do think like it, 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 it i don't 
Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just watch bo the boring stuff. I I I I, I think I think. I don't know. I think pain. I think that it's it's meant to okay. inflict like a, a, a like, right? Uh, unless, uh, unless yeah, okay. So here's the thing: is is most people when they think of like dominatrix, they think of somebody coming in in like head to toe leather and just beating the shit out of people and whatever. And yes. like that's not. No, that's not even remotely. Like I I was more often in jeans and a tank top. Um, I had a single pair of boots that I wore consistently. Um, that were like a three inch chunky heel. So okay. like not even like stilettos. So you didn't have like an outfit or anything? There was no... No, not really. Okay. I had one pair of leather pants. I mean, what, what do you need? What, what, once you have one pair of leather pants, you have them all. Right? Exactly. <laughs> you know, you don't need more than um, you're, not, you're not making repeat visits necessarily. Oh, I guess yeah. you are probably, right? That's presumably you had well, like... Favorite clientele, or, or I guess clientele who would who would repeat customers, presumably. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, per, I feel like most of the clientele has to be people coming back, right? Or, or, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, that's that's gotta be a nice feeling too. Yeah, you I know had, that people are satisfied with your work. I had like six regulars throughout that year. Regulars being how often? Like two, three times a month. Um, sometimes. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Two, three times a month. And you said six or so of them. So about 18 times a month you had people and then yeah. just ra maybe randoms every once in a while or is it, was it? Yeah. yeah. I, I had, I had a couple of randos that were like, you know, they were recommended of, of, you know, Oh, this is my friend. Blah, blah, so blah. about three or four and times a week, four, four or five times a week. Yeah. Great. Amazing. <laughs> Huh. See, that, that's such a, that's such a, okay. And I, 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 I know you, that the, you're worried about the IRS uh, on this stream, but <laughs> if you, if you had to give a hypothetical number that you might've made, uh, I, I don't know if you're uncomfortable mentioning this on stream, totally fair, but I gotta ask, would you, would you have a roundabout possible number of how much you made in that year as a dominatrix? Cause I am interested oh. in, in pricing on this. I mean, let me think. <laughs> I, I, don't be in. Listen, listen. <laughs> I, I that's. Like, I also want to know specifically, like what what does it cost? What is a, what is what is a, a a heel in the chest? What do you what do you charge for a heel in the chest? What's well, see, that's the thing. Like, it, it, like you're you're trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to think about. I mean, I don't know. What's, is it by time? Is, don't be in yeah, by, it's I, usually by time or yeah. or how complex something is, or if I had to travel to them. Uh, which most oh, of the time they, I did. Do they pay for travel? Uh, that's nice. That's nice of them. Yeah. Oh, did you ever take uh, clients in your in your apartment? No, 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 no. I was gonna say that seems weird. That seems like, no, no, no. <laughs> it was it was either at their place or at a predetermined secondary location. It's so like a hotel. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, um, and I always had at least three of my friends who knew where I were, where I was, um, knew when I was leaving to go. That's how, good. how long approximately I would be there and I would message them as soon as I left. Okay. Uh, All right. Because well, cell phones were a thing by then. Um, Viani was, to, Viani was taking notes before and, and they want to know. I, <laughs> I, you know, if I'm being completely honest, I, I want to say it's something like 50,000. Like I made a lot of money and, but it went for like, I know. I see you. I see you losing your mind. I, I just, I it's mean, just, I'm it's not, not like, you, I'm not upset. I'm, 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 I'm amazed. I'm astonished is what I am. Yeah. And I, I, I honestly, I'm jealous. <laughs> that's, that's, I know. That's amazing. And, but like, it's one of those things where like, I, I didn't save any of it. And I think that like, it sounds stupid, but like, I always say like, yeah, if you could go back to tell your, your younger self, something, save some of that dominatrix money. Yeah. Like, most people would think that's what I would say is, you know, save, save the money that you make when you're in your twenties. But like, that's not where my brain goes. Cause my brain goes, you're going to get cancer when you're 17. So, you know, your life is going to change. Yeah. Um, I'm... so it's, it, and it's, it's not exactly like, it's not that for everybody. That's the biggest thing. Um, I think part of it was also the fact that I am a bigger girl. 
Um, and there aren't as many of us. Um, dominatrix is bigger girls who are dominatrixes. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Um, and also it was just, it happened to be like the perfect storm of timing and location and stuff like that. Yeah. It, it seems like it. And you know what? It, like it, I mean, here's the thing. I, I think that, that the fact that you, it, it, it does, it does kind of suck that you, you didn't save any of the, the $50,000. And that's, that's, the, that, yeah. it's kind of sucks. But also on the other hand, I don't know, be proud of the fact that you made, you made $50,000 doing, that's awesome. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you for, for bye. stopping by. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very focused on the, on the dominatrix story. <laughs> I, I, the fact that you made that kind of money in the first place doing that is, is, is already amazing. Um, mm -hmm. That's just great. I'm just, I'm just very happy. That you, okay, well, so, so, uh, so it, you said it, that the pricing is based on, on, on location and how much, and yeah, it was, it, it was like time and location and how much prep work had to go into things and okay. stuff like that. Because yeah. You know, so I think this is gonna be, my, I think this is gonna be the final question because I, 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 I think, I think an hour, an hour and fifteen minutes is a, a good place to wrap up. I think, um, but I do want to do these types of things more often. But the, the place I want to wrap up is, um, what, what would Again, uh, if, if you're I, if you're comfortable talking about the money aspect of this, what is the what is the most you were paid to do something, in one like, like one event, like one 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 well, like one one go session session is that's probably right. Yeah. yeah. What is the most you were paid um, for one session? I want to say it was something like three thousand dollars. What was it for? <laughs> I love that, that like dejected voice. What was it for? What was it for? What did you get paid three thousand dollars to do? Um, it it was one of those like you know just ordering them around and it's just that it was just it was yeah, that guy was it was it the CEO dude? Yeah, I think so. He gave you three thousand dollars. Was it and that was how how long was that? Um, like three and a half hours, four hours. So you worked, what is the math on that? One second. <laughs> I need to, I need to just take a second. <laughs> so it's four. I a little less than a thousand an hour. Yeah. That's, that's really <laughs> rough. And you were asking them to do things for you. That's the. the yeah. And it, but it wasn't just like do things for me. It was like do things around the house. Like, you know. But it wasn't your house. And, it wasn't and like, it was laundry it was, it was, and stuff like that. Yeah, like it, it was, was literally just telling him to do something and then he would go do it. You know, clean the bathroom using a toothbrush. Okay. You know, wash the do do a load of laundry by hand. Like would, it was, would you, you would know, you ever ask him to do things specifically for you? Was that like would, like would you ever like No. Oh, well that's that's weirdly that's a nice line to draw, I think. That it's all stuff. Yeah, no, it's like I said, it was it was more of a he wanted to be ordered around, <laughs> but it wasn't like I'm, I wasn't going to abuse that, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. I don't see the sexual appeal to this, but what I do see is the appeal of paying someone to yell at me to do things in my own house. Because I think that <laughs> I think that I would get a but lot if more you would done. Like to pay me no, to yell at you. Well, I don't want it. That's like the thing is I I don't want to get hurt. I don't want you to like injure. But it isn't me. always about being hurt. That's the thing. Well, that's like I I get this. I I I I don't think I'd pay Dominatrix money for it. Like I don't like I'd have like a I I wouldn't want to do that because I'm not getting sexual pleasure from it. But I see the appeal of someone coming, especially if you're somebody who does get sexual pleasure from it. Um, I see the appeal of somebody being like, hey, do your laundry. And you're like, okay. And then you it's a double whammy because you get your laundry done. And also, that's good. There are layers to this dumb thing though. Okay, maybe I'm like on the lowest, I'm on the low scale. I'm on the I'm on like trying to get his laundry done, but can't get the motivation part of the scale. Uh, <laughs> there's I mean there's social workers it, that help you that way, but that's not fun. That's less fun. <laughs> Well, here's the funny part about that. Right? I had a dominatrix is, to get me to, to I was, motivate me. 
I was totally going to go to school to become a social worker. That's, so that's really funny. Yeah. I, I don't think that's a thing the rest of the world. We don't like know about mental health here. Um, but <laughs> Uh, so you're saying that you basically, you kind of just took the, uh, I, I get weirdly dominatrix is kind of our, um, unlicensed therapists in a weird way. Mm -hmm. They're just, yeah, they're, a little bit. they're just, they're just treating people the only way they know how they're beating the tar out of their ass. <laughs> like that's, I mean, that well, is, that is a thing. Yeah. Not well, or, or, or. Or simply by just giving them what they want. I guess that really was, is what it is. That's, it's all about just giving people what they want. It's it's a, I it's very cool. This is a very cool thing. I don't I, I I haven't ever really spent a whole lot of time thinking about. There's a TV show about this sort of stuff on Netflix. Is this yeah, I haven't watched that. It's called Bondage. I haven't watched it. Oh, about like uh, about the the dominatrix in, like industry, I guess, or like it's like one one girl like tricks a guy into being a partner with her. I'm not sure exactly. Like I said, I haven't watched it, but. Okay. All right. Well, either way, that's, that, it sounds cool. Um, okay. Regardless, I, I thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for, for telling me the story. Cause I, I've been wanting to know for a really long time. Um, and it was every bit as good as, as I expected it would be. Um, I'm probably going to cut it here. Cause I, I got other stuff I gotta do, but, but I, I wanted to make this, this first stream a thing. Um, yeah. Thank you for thank you for your help. Um, I, do you have anything you want to plug while I have you on here? I don't know if you if you. Um, um, I have a podcast called Charm Chats. That's about the original TV show Charmed. Oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> sure. Put it in the chat. You know. I don't know. I don't know if there's anyone here who, who's interested in, in in Charmed, but that's cool. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much for 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 sharing your story. Oh. I'll yeah, see you in the Discord. I, I will see. I will literally, as soon as I, I log off here, I will go and see if I can find that crop. Please. And send it to the Discord, genuinely, because I, yeah. I want to know. Okay. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Um, so thank you, everyone. Thank you for, for stopping by for this. Um, I, this is good. This is a cool thing. I might start doing this more often. I, um, I don't know. I'd like to to do interviews with you guys. That's kind of fun, um, and I like learning about stuff. So I guess maybe we'll do we'll do another one of these, and I'll I'll, I'll bring people on, and we'll we'll just chat and we'll talk. And um, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. I'm gonna I'm gonna kiss my hand, but then I was like, I just want to wave, but I'm gonna thank you. <laughs>